It's your favorite Q the Braider and I'm here with another how-to tutorial. I know why you clicked on this video because you want to know how to do this style. Well, that's enough talking. Let's go ahead and go to the shampoo bowl. back from the shampoo bowl. Here's a tip for you. When maneuvering through natural hair, it's best to section off the client's hair. This will make the blow dry easier. So I just sectioned off my client's hair into four even parts. So here comes the blow dry. <laughs> Now that the blow dry is complete, I'm gonna go ahead in for a special step and trim his ends. Let's get to cutting. So just to start off the trim, I'm gonna go ahead and go with my classic middle part. I'm gonna work one side to the other. This is not really a trim tutorial, so I'm just gonna do this quickly. You guys can just look and learn. Here we are, freshly blow dried, freshly trimmed. Let me know in the comment section down below if you see a difference between the before the trim and the after the trim. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump into the style. Y'all know how I like to do. We about to go ahead and bust down this middle part. So basically, if you're a braider, you should already have this product somewhere around you. I just took this, I traced the part, and then I retraced it with the product on it and you shall get this nice, clean and sleek. Now, his hair is a bit tricky, so I'm gonna do his service a little bit different. So when you turn him around in the back, you can see he has a high fade on the side and it gets a little bit low in the back. So I'm about to show y'all how to start with the parting. Does this product look familiar? You're gonna dab a little bit into your product and trace the part. After the product, you're going to trace again right behind the product and that is how you get a clean sleek line we're going to comb the hair on the bottom down and we're going to comb the hair on the top up this just separates the hair so you don't have those flyaways interrupting you while you're braiding so due to the fact that my client has a lower fade in the back we're going to start off by parting right to left left to right so once you get your row, you're gonna take your product and you're gonna press it into the root. Press it into the root. And after you press, you want to comb down, comb down, comb down. So the heavy product, you want mainly on the root. You don't want the product all the way down the hair shaft. We want to focus it on the root. The next step is parting. So parting just depends on the size that your client wants. So we're gonna be doing kind of like a small medium. So I'm gonna part them out. I like to start on the corner first and work my way to the other side. So when I start the braid, for some odd reason, I just like to start in the middle, but you can start from the left, you can start from the right. I'm gonna start in the middle and then work myself outwards. On this part, you can use clips or clamps, but I'm a little advanced, so I'm just gonna push the hair out the way with the comb and I'm gonna start braiding. 
Now what you want to do is you want to separate this section into three even parts. So here we go. One, two, three. So to braid it, you're going to take the middle section and go over the right section, the middle section, go over the left section, right, left, right, left, right, left. So you're going to braid down a few times and once you feel the product has ran out on the hair, you're going to come in with that good old blue magic. Now you can use any grease, any moisturizer, but I like to stick to the original. If it ain't broken, don't fix it. So what I'm going to do is tap a little bit inside of my grease about this much. And then I rub it on my fingers and then I rub it down the hair. So this is going to keep your braid from being stiff and it's going to be more movable. So we're moisturizing the braid. Gonna go ahead and continue all three, right over the middle over the right, the middle over the left, middle over the right, the middle over the left, middle over the right, middle over the left, like so until you get to the bottom. And here we have the first braid. So the grease give it shine and a finished look. And we're gonna leave the ends puffy, braid down as far as you can and leave a little bit of the puffy ends. And I'm gonna show you guys towards the end of tutorial what to do with the bottom. So keep watching. So here we are. So here I am on row number four. So when we first started in the back, we went left to right, left to right. So when you get above the ear, when as you parting, you wanna curve a little bit. So instead of going straight, you're going to come around and curve like so, this part here. When I'm parting the rows, I like to start from the middle and then bring it around into a curve. And this is how you would get the consistency of your braids and they all fall naturally. So when I lift, I lift the row to see if I got the rows at the same thickness. So I'm looking at it now, it looks like this one is a little bit thicker. So I'm just gonna take away hair until it matches the thickness of this row. Your thickness will vary depending on how big or small your client is getting their braids. Start from the middle, part in the curve, going towards the temple. Also, when you're moving up, you want to make sure both sides are coming up at the same point. I usually can use my client's hairline to pinpoint where the rows stop at. So I'm just going to take a look in my mirror and make sure both of these rows are in, at the same point, which it looks like they're pretty accurate. So make sure you're doing this as your partner rows, they need to be equal on both sides. Lastly, as you're moving up on your rows, you want to part in a brick layer. So I just part my next row by looking at one, one braid, and I part a line in the middle. One braid, part a line in the middle, and then you'll get a square. So make sure you brick the parts so it can look full instead of stacking them on top of each other. You wanna brick them so that they can lay very, very natural and flat and fill in the empty spaces. I'm gonna start my product on the root. Scooping a product with the back of your comb is also a method that I use. If you don't want your hands to be all gunky, just scoop and lay it using the top of your comb or the back of it. I'm gonna call my product in. Those are my pet birds coming by to say hi. I am a fairy tale princess. Oh, hello. All right now, I'm trying to film a video. This will be an example of how to brick lay your parts. So I'm gonna find the middle of one this is the middle of the braid and I'm gonna part one line going up. 
you just go straight up. And then I'm gonna come over to the next braid and I'm gonna find the middle part of that one. This is the middle of the square. And I'm just gonna part a line going up. So this is how you get the braids to stagger as you're going row by row. So I'm just gonna keep this up. I'm gonna go off to the left and then I'm gonna go off to the right. Here we are all done with the parts. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue the braids. Woo! Here we are on the top half of the hair. We only have the temples left to do. So this is where the parting is going to take a turn for the left. Okay, in the back, we went left to right and curve. So now on the top, the temple and up, we're going to part going straight back. So this is so the plaits can fall over like this. You want it to just fall down and be natural. You don't want them falling towards the back. I like to start from the top row. I just estimate how wide I would like the section. And I pretty much keep it consistent with what I've already been doing. So this is just an estimate and you can always go back and clean it up. What we're gonna do is go back and slightly curve with the head. So if you just go straight back, it's gonna mess up your rows. You want to start straight and then give like a little curve with the head. Straight back and a little curve with the head. If you parted the width correctly, you should stop on one of these lines in the back. So this is kind of help you. So my line is gonna stop here. So everything is still gonna be uniform while it's falling over. This is one row and I'm gonna split this row into two. Remember, start straight back and then you want to curve with the head. Curve with the head. And I also got this row, tilt to the right. I also got this row lined up with this. And there you have three rows. So I'm just gonna go behind with the product and I'm gonna clean these up. Once you're done parting the rows out, I have three. Again, depending on your size, you may have two or more. We're gonna do the exact same thing on the opposite side and I'm going to continue the brick layered plaits. So here we go. braids are done it's time for the final product don't blink or you're gonna miss it bada boom bada bang <gasps> Nairobi does its thing this is my most famous product that I use on almost all of my styles Nairobi foam y'all need to get y'all some I'm just gonna go ahead and drown the ends in this oh y'all wait for me to start oh my bad you're gonna pump 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 it up we go pump, pump, pump it up. And do this all the way around the hill. We want it saturated. We want it wet. We want it drowned. Don't be shy with it. Use as much as possible. Okay, so now I just rake the product through. Make sure all of the braids are nice and saturated. And one by one, you have to do one by one. One by one, I'm going to finger coil. And boom, this is how the final braid should look. So I'm about to just go ahead and do this all over his head.
all for watching my video. Let me know down in the comment section below if any of these steps were helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you guys next video. Uh, can you like move it over by me? Like get out of my video? Yeah, thanks. Here we go. Here we go. Your eyes are supposed to be closed and you're supposed to be like, like Can falling asleep. Can you massage me like them nail salon shit? <laughs> That's what they get. <laughs> Come on so you can have something to post for my birthday. Oh, you do. You got to fold it now. Um, so yes, here I am with um, this future millionaire. So when he make it and say he don't know me, he clearly knows me. I like the way she threw it right, right there. Hey, just, uh, 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 mm, mm, mm. You got served. <laughs> All right, I need a fruit snack break and a water break because woo, y'all is killing me today. I'm so excited you're here. Where did the fruit snack come from? Oh, I had dumped them all in my hand oh. and then we had to record, so I had tucked them off <laughs> on the side. <laughs> Would you like any water refreshments? Okay, perfect. Josh, stop. I just know what auntie you finna be at the family function. Yeah, when I walk in, the party's gonna start. Can we just agree <laughs> for you to put your feet on the foot holder? I'm sorry. Thank you all for watching my video. Let me know down in the comment section below what you learned new or were you able to pick up new steps and skills? What? <laughs>